One of the things that we are quite interested in is trying to take inspiration from nature to try and actually build polymers that have higher value and more function so that we can start to mimic some of nature's functions and complexity. My name is Rachel O'Reilly, I'm a chemist here at the University of Birmingham. I'm a synthetic polymer chemist, so we make materials and we're interested in designing new materials that have advanced properties. Some of the work that we've been doing is creating polymers that can respond to a certain external trigger, such as a decrease in pH, to allow a reconfiguration of the polymer to either release a drug or sequester something. So we're interested in using the polymers that can respond to stimuli in quite a complex way. The thing that excites me is often our work has found real world solutions. Companies are then often coming and actually we work with them then to try and see how that fundamental science might be able to solve a problem. I have two little girls, Matilda who's almost three and Rosemary who's four. Some of the work that we're starting to do, thinking about lifetime of materials and better design of materials, I think is probably one of the important things I'd hope make a better future for them. Last summer I took on the role of Head of School here at the University of Birmingham. I was making an impact with my research and my research group, but I think that you reach a point in the academic career where actually I felt I could do more by actually showing leadership and I, I think it's unfortunate there are not more female um, scientists in leadership roles and I hope I can have an impact by taking on a leadership role. I'd like to think that we've not just done chemistry for the sake of doing chemistry, we've, we've solved problems, we've pushed the understanding of how we make things and develop new methodologies and actually be able to use them to advance material science.